Hi, I'm Susan Koenig and this is Somatics for You. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating the arch and release out of the arch. Just briefly, this is part of cat routine number one, but then I'm going to show a variation that I love very much with my legs crossed. I'll just explain as I go along. This is my dog Chester. He loves to do somatics with me, so here he is. <laughs> I'm just going to lie down and get comfortable and just sense a little bit about where my low back is. I'm going to bring my arms out further than I usually do so it's easier for you to see what's happening in my somatic center and low back. I start with knees bent and I'm going to inhale and arch my head gently tips down and exhale and just release out of the arch, just releasing the muscular contraction, of, especially of the low back, and letting my head come back into place. I'll do that again. Inhale and arch. Exhale, slowly release my low back and other spinal muscles and my head and neck. Now, here's the variation I love. I'm going to start by crossing my right leg over my left and make sure my legs feel comfortable. When I do this, it's putting more flexion into my right hip. It's uh, slightly elevating, bringing forward my right hemipelvis, which is a bit of a left rotation. And it's also adding a little bit more length into my back. And now I'm going to inhale and arch and exhale and just slowly release out of that arch. Inhale, arch. Now I'm contracting low back muscles, but in this particular pattern, and slowly releasing out of the arch, decontracting the muscles, especially of my low back. I'll do it one more time. Inhale and arch. Exhale, slowly release out of the arch. And now I'm going to cross my legs the other way, make sure they're comfortable, and go through the same patterns, but with my uh, left leg over my right. Inhale and arch. Exhale, release out of the arch. Inhale, arch. You'll notice I'm letting the movement go through my spine. My chin comes a little closer to my chest. And exhale, slowly release out of the arch. My head comes back to a neutral position one more time. And now I'm just going to uncross my legs and let my legs go long. And just give myself a few seconds to sense the sensory feedback that is coming from my muscles my tendons, my joints, uh, my fascia, my ligaments, my skin. And I can already sense my low back is longer and flatter. I encourage you to try not only arch and release out of arch, but also the variations where you cross your legs. Thank you very much.